Right, hi guys. Um, this is my first attempt at doing a little video tutorial, so please bear with me. I can't really see what I'm doing past the camera, so I can only really see my hands on the screen. Oh, and I apologise for how beaten up my hands are currently looking. But uh, anyway, right, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple knot method for rerouting your dolls. Um, I'm going to be using nutmeg nylon. Um, I like the nylon because well, you can see it sort of naturally separates into quite a good plug size. Um, but for the benefit of this tutorial, I'm going to be using slightly thicker hair plugs, just more so you can see what I'm doing than for any other reason. And uh, I also like to work with my hair a little bit damp, just so it makes the um, hair easier to thread through the needle. And there are many variations on this technique, but I shall start with the most simple one I think. First of all, um, obviously your prepared doll head where you've taken all, all the hair out from the inside. Mind the eyelashes though, you can just see them poking out there. Because they're on Cindy particularly, they're all obviously rerouted. Right anyway, enough of my ramblings. Okay, you take your slightly damp hair plug and excuse me Cindy, and you use thread, thread your needle Oops. Thread your needle and, um, oops, you'll see I've missed one little bit there. Well, never mind, let's get rid of that for a minute. Right, you thread your needle and uh, leave a little bit at the top. And you get your, get your doll head. Now, some people like to go from the outside in, but uh, I quite like to work from the inside going out but it's, it's all sort of personal preference really. And uh, you find a little hole, can you see these little holes in there? Go to pick a hole of your choice. I'm gonna go for that one there. And you literally, oh, can you see what I'm doing? You literally push it through so it starts to come out the other side. And it really is that simple, you just push the needle through, like so. And you pull through the little shorter end that you threaded. See, it's a bit harder with thicker plugs. But um, I need to really so you can see what I'm doing. And you just pull out that top bit like that. And then with the bottom bit down here, you tie a little knot like so. You can see what I'm doing. And some people like to add a dab of glue. Oh, you can if you want to, or again, you can you can double knot it. But uh, as the hair's already slightly damp, that shouldn't that shouldn't come undone. And you get your scissors, and you just trim it off after the knot, but not too close, because obviously you don't want the um, don't want the knot to come undone. So you've got your knot. And then you go back to the top of the head and you literally just pull, my hands in the way, you pull it and keep pulling and you'll see the knot going in and you just pull till it's tight against the head like that. And that really is all there is to it. So take the needle off. And that's one hair plug done. Oops, so you can see. And then you just literally keep on going for what feels like three million times, filling every single hole. And you're done. I'll move, I'll do another tutorial so I can show you how to finish off and thatch. Um, another slightly different way, but it's, it's sort of the same of doing this, is to prepare your hair plugs first. So pre knot them. Here's some I prepared earlier, like so, and trim them all off. And then you can take them straight through and again thread your needle. This is where keeping it wet comes in handy. Hold on. I can't see what I'm doing. Like so. And then pick the next hole along. Get 
through. And again, pull it tight. It's all personal preference really as to whether you knot beforehand. I mean, if, if you want to, you can sit down and sort of pair 30 or 40 in a row and then sit down and make things go a lot faster. Also, there is another method, which um, how common in the doll world it is, I'm not sure, but it's used quite a lot in the pony world. Okay, hold on. Where you get, get your hair plug, get some hair, and trim off the bit that you want. And instead of knotting at the end, you can actually knot it in the middle, which means that you get, sorry, I'm doing it all off camera so you can't see what I'm doing. So knot it in the middle, which means you effectively get two hair plugs. And then if you want to do it this way, you take one side and you do exactly the same as before. If I can find my needle. You thread your needle like that, just with a little bit. You pop it through like that, same again, but don't pull it all the way through, just pull it so that the end comes out like that. And then, if you come to the other end, you'll see there's the knot there. So, if you take the other side. Do the same again. Oops, needles upside down. I hope I'm not going too fast and you can see what I'm doing. Like that. And then you go in by the hole next to it. Oops, sorry, I'm doing it off camera again. Like that, next to where you did your first one. And you push it all the way through, pull it through, Oops. and then you'll see and th that's where the knot is. And then if you gently pull both together, you'll see from one hair plug, you've got two. Oops, I've got a bit of a blip there. If you do get that, but I don't know if you can see what I've done here, I've looped a little bit. If you get your needle and just gently tease that bit out, then it's fine. And then you get two plugs for the price of one by doing the knot in the middle. Can you see that there? Where is it? Just there. Just there. So that's sort of three variations of the same method. Um, you can also do it using thread and dental floss, but I shall do a separate tutorial for that one. Because I think that's more than enough of my gabbling on for one. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And you just keep on going. So you've got the either knot in the middle or individual knots. Either way, they both work really well. And eventually, Cindy will be looking beautiful again. All right, I hope that's helped. Bye.